Hey YouTube, this is Trina with Thick and Fit. Today I have a special person here with me. She's actually is going to um, give me more description in regards, or give you more description in regards to what I mean by that word fit. Janice has come a long, Janice has come a long way. I keep calling Janet, this Janet, Janet, has yes. come a long way. I met her yesterday, uh, real brief, like in um, LA Fitness. I was on a treadmill and she was doing a roll and she was trying to get it, she was getting it. And I was like, oh, it's all I'm luck, it's almost over. Something like that, I don't know exactly yeah. what I said. Yeah. But anyway, she started telling me about her story. And after she started talking, I started seeing that word fit come, just, it was just surrounding her, just how fit she was to be in her condition, how fit she was to be who she is right now, as of right now. Um, I brought her here today because I want her to tell her, tell her, tell us about her story. And Janet, if you don't mind, I mean, when you first started, um, what happened? to get you where you are first. Tell us about the very first day when you had the tracheotomy, the, the allergy, when it happened. Um, I had actually, it was November 2012, right after Thanksgiving. Um, being a mother and a wife, I was super busy. So when we get sick, we don't really think about it. We just keep it moving. And that's what I did. I had an asthma attack. I couldn't get it under control, so I ended up going to the hospital. Still couldn't get it under control, so they intubated me. First time in my life, I was terrified. I woke up in ICU. I was in ICU for six days. I had pneumonia, didn't even know it. Come to find out I had died three times. Okay. They had to bring me back to life. Uh, they put a tube in my throat, come to find out it was too big. And so it caused scar tissue to grow and close my airway off. They didn't figure that out for a month. Okay. I couldn't breathe. I felt like I was drowning every day. Okay. Um, I, uh, they had to do emergency tracheostomy. Soon after that, I couldn't talk anymore. Okay. I made it completely closed up so okay. no air could get through. Okay. Um, for a year, I couldn't talk. I had to go all the way to Augusta, Georgia to get my throat reconstructed. And at that time, you at that time you was pretty... Uh, I was 360 pounds. 360 pounds. I had been That's... in three around 340, 370, pretty much most of my life. Okay, okay. Ever since I can remember, I've been a big person. Now, the reason why I had to tell you guys that story is because this is actually what started her on this journey to where she started being fit. She had already tried... Her, you know, she wanted to get fit before she explained to me that it's something that she wanted to do. And I keep saying that word fit, but don't think I'm talking about a physical, the physical part of this. It's the physical mind, the mind of this, this whole entire body. So that's what we're looking at. Again, now when you, when you, when you have the tracheotomy in this situation, um, all this stuff right. going on, you wind up having to have a, um, the gastric, gastric bypass. Okay. Yes. In order for my trach to come out. I had to lose weight. There was okay. no other choice. Okay. None. Okay. So before then, I wanted to lose weight, but I wasn't ready mentally. At this point, after going she wasn't through, fit. I but wasn't ready going. mentally. <laughs> but afterwards, I've been through so much, and I was so grateful for being here mm -hmm. that I'm like, I have to do better. I, I have no choice. <laughs> and so um, I did the pre-op diet. I got the surgery. Um, February 13th of 2015, and I was at 360 pounds, and today I'm at 195. 360. A year later, I'm at 195. 195 today. So I've lost 165 pounds in one year. And that is her journey. Her journey is just that. It, she lost over 100 pounds. A 150, person. 150 something pounds. 60, she lost 165. 165 pounds. Get those numbers. Tell me, she wants to make sure you don't know whether seen and heard or not, okay? So the thing is, it just, I mean, with that alone, I, I, I can't appreciate it. And I and I can see it all over you in regards to how confident you are. Yes. When we were in the gym, I was telling her, I said, hey, yeah, you know, uh, you know, you can get a little bit of this, tone right. it up a little bit. Right. But right. the thing is, Janet is I'm fine. Good with she's it. good with this. Good she's with happy. It. She's fit. You know, yes. she's she's fit here. And that is basically why I wanted to have her here today is because I wanted to make sure she shared her story. I wanted her to share the story with, but not just me, but with other people. Because it takes a fit mind to be able yes. to achieve the stuff that she has achieved. I struggle within every day. One with year. It. One year. Yes, one year. And that's amazing. I feel amazing. And you look amazing to me. Yes, right? I know. I, I can't I can't imagine. Every time I look in the mirror, it's like a totally different person. I want you guys to stay posted too because she, uh, we have um, she gave us a collage of where her journey came from, how she started, and where she is right now. Again, this is Tronda signing off. Bye. Stick to fit. Bye. If you have a story similar to that of Janet, please email me at stick to fit one at gmail.com. Again, at stick to fit one at gmail.com. It will be down below to that email for which I would love to hear your story. I would love to see your photos. I would love to know how you got to where you was or are.
Um, this is trying to well, also make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Bye.